Sometimes it is good to ask yourself questions and you automatically know what is to be done. So do me a favor, close your eyes, take a deep breath, put your hand on your heart and answer this sincerely. In your facility, how many instruments like the meters, gauges and sensors have a valid calibration certificate? All? Few? None? Or will you have to check? Hmm. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Hello, this is Varinder and today we are going to talk about a very important activity and that is testing and calibration of instruments. For the purpose of this talk, instruments include all electrical meters in panels, electromechanical gauges of all kinds and sensors used in automation or for transmitting purposes. If your answer to the question before was no or some of them, don't worry, you are not alone. But it is never too late to start the corrective process, is it? Calibration means testing and adjusting the accuracy of the measuring device usually by comparison with a traceable and trusted reference standard or device. The device is tested and then any error in the measuring device under test is also corrected as part of the calibration. Let's take a simple example of a weighing machine. If the machine is not calibrated properly, it is not going to give you a correct weight. A machine showing lesser weight than correct weight might make some of us very happy but that would be an illusion. Same applies to the instruments in our facilities. If they are not reading and showing the parameter correctly, then we are just living in an illusion that everything is fine. But where in reality, the equipment might be heading towards a catastrophic failure. We have so many checklists in our facilities and logbooks are filled shift after shift, day after day, which you'll agree would be a total waste of time if those meters are not showing the correct readings, correct? Then, when we have failures and we investigate, all the logbooks are going to show absolutely healthy parameters, leaving us no hint about the cause of the failure. The same goes with sensors as well. For years, people have been using BMS, building management system, and for years, people have complained against the effectiveness of BMS. Surely, there might be other reasons for this reputation, but one of those clearly is the way the sensors are inspected and maintained. A BMS will just throw out whatever is fed into it. There is no way for BMS or the operator to correct the input incoming to it from the various devices. If a sensor says 24 degrees, the BMS will also say 24 degrees irrespective of who is complaining about the heat or cold. The problem is only going to get more complicated what with IoT, automation, artificial intelligence, machine learning, etc. coming in. The number of sensors these systems use will grow exponentially and one sensor giving wrong input will potentially derail the entire chain of decision making, whether it is artificial or human, thereby impacting performance of the complete building infrastructure and also enhancing the exposure to the risk. What is more, the artificial intelligence is going to learn all the wrong things. How we will manage a humongous number of IoT sensors is a topic for a different session, but in the meanwhile, we need to correct the present. I hope you realize now why it makes a lot of sense for us to have our instruments calibrated regularly. Follow your company policy if there is one. If not, then follow the OEM's advice. In the worst case scenario, have your instruments calibrated once every two years. And also make sure that you collect a calibration certificate from the calibrating agency. The certificate should clearly indicate the details of the reference meter or the standards used and also the time validity of the calibration. Normally, the calibrating agencies would give a validity of one year only. The schedule for calibration can be managed in the 52-week annual maintenance planner, but make sure that you list all instruments separately, identifying each one of them with serial numbers, since you can't send out all at the same time and will have to do it in batches. Wait, close your eyes again, put your hand on your heart, and answer this question. How many of you have the serial numbers of the instruments recorded somewhere? Anywhere? Yes? No? Some of them? That's it from me for now. This is Varinder signing off.